I'm here today to talk about a very important product launch. In fact, this launch that we're discussing, which is our all new 2000 Pro series, is extremely important because the 2000 series subwoofers that the 2000 Pro series are replacing were the most popular SVS subwoofers anywhere in the world, basically since the very first day that we launched them. It's absolutely astonishing to people when they hear the 2000 series for the first time and realize how affordable it is and how many rooms it will fit in with, with minimal fuss and, and, uh, and yet deliver a, a level of performance that's almost reference grade. The question is, with the 2000 Pro series, could we take that and make it an actual reference level of performance as we did with the 3000 series, which absolutely shocked people. And I'm really proud to say that our team did that. 2000 Pro series is not the new version of the 2000 series. This is why we chose the name Pro. We wanted to call out the fact that this is a complete reimagining of what is possible anywhere near the price range of these subwoofers. 2000 Pro series features an all new 12 inch driver, extremely capable, but the big news is we were able to take that same amplifier platform from the 16 Ultra series uh, a reference level of amplifier performance that had never been seen at that price range, which is way higher than the 2000 Pro series will be. And we brought it down to a, uh, a, a, less power, a less power output, but the exact same amplifier platform. So we're talking about fully digital front end for efficiency, but a fully discrete MOSFET output stage for maximum current output so that we can take this all new 12 inch driver and fully deliver on its potential. The amplifier is more powerful. Uh, the old 2000 series was 500 watts. This one is 550 watts continuous power, more than 1500 watts of peak power. But I think the key here with respect to the amplifier is a couple of things. Number one, it's that fully discrete output stage, which makes it capable of tons of current, tons of ability to deliver maximum output from the driver, but also to control the driver in ways that only a high current amplifier can. And then the second piece of it, which I think we don't give enough positive attention to the analog devices DSP, which we use in this amplifier platform, it had never been used in a subwoofer before when we launched it in our 16 Ultra series. To have it now in the 2000 Pro series is absolutely astonishing. And what it does, it, yes, it absolutely gives the user all kinds of ability to configure the product down to the granular level. And yes, we're back with that phenomenal subwoofer control app that you can use on your Android or uh, iOS smart, Apple smartphone. That's really cool, but I don't think we talk enough about how the analog devices DSP can be configured in such a way that the subwoofer really comes alive and energizes the room in a way that isn't evolutionary from the 2000 series. In fact, it's revolutionary. It really should be heard to be believed. It's a level of control of the room and energizing the room with bass that has never been seen anywhere near this price range. Let's drill into the details of the 2000 Pro Series, and in order to do that, I'm, I'm asking uh, Smith Freeman, our chief designer, and Nick Brown, who you all know, our VP, to kind of walk you through some of the really cool technical advantages and innovations that 2000 Pro Series brings. So the first time that I heard the 2000 Pro Series, I actually didn't even realize I was, I was listening to them. We were at a, an event in Virginia with one, uh, one of our dealers and, and you know, one of our consumer events, and I'd gone into their reference theater and they had dual PB16 Ultra subwoofers set up. And, you know, I mean, it's an incredible experience there. So I, I walked out of the room to go help set up some other part of the event. And I hear just this absolute rumbling coming out from the other side of the building. And this is a very, very large showroom that they have. Um, so I, I go over there expecting to see the, the dual PB16 Ultras just unleashing fury in, in that room. But uh, turns out it was a single PB2000 Pro that was just really just owning this Jurassic Park scene. And uh, it really just kind of grabbed my attention to the point of like, how how does that possible where you can get that kind of output from a subwoofer of that size? So um, 
I think from a technology standpoint, there's some interesting stories that maybe people don't really understand, you know, what goes into this kind of engineering. And uh, I mean, let's just start with the driver. What can what can you tell us about what's new about it and, uh, and sort of how we're able to achieve that? Well, really, the, the 2000 Pro Series driver is an all new driver. So we we totally re looked at the the whole architecture of the of the driver, and so it looks quite a bit different from from the old 2000 series. Um, all new surround basket, a lot of changes to the motor. Basically, we knew we were going to give it a much higher current amplifier, so we needed to re-engineer the driver to handle that additional current and really get the 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 best output from from that driver. Yeah, I mean, a driver in and of itself is just potential. Absolutely. And so you kind of have to factor in, you know, what the true potential of it is when you're putting that whole ecosystem together. Absolutely. And, you know, sort of the second part of that is is now obviously the amplifier. And I know mm -hmm. Gary had touched a little bit on uh, this MOSFET output stage. Yep. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who hear that term and they have, you know, it just sort of, what is that? Um, what can you tell us about what MOSFETs are and sort of the benefit of having them within an amplifier? So really what we're talking about with a MOSFET output stage is the benefits of a of what we call a discrete amplifier. And so instead of using an integrated circuit or a chip amplifier where everything's uh, in one uh, package, we break it all out, we can have uh, higher thermal capabilities, and that's what allows a discrete amplifier to deliver huge continuous power and huge peak power to get those uh, really high output levels from a subwoofer. So you're talking about real world performance. Mm -hmm. It's those, you know, those action movie scenes that just demand your subwoofer yep. to really hit that reference sort of yeah. peak level of power to really get the most out of a scene. Or, you know, if there's a bass drop in a certain type of song, it's a, it's a, a term that I like to refer to as like effortless power. Yeah. It's that like, it's not straining. It's like, it seems to like it almost the more you turn it up. Yeah. So when, when the soundtrack or the movie really has a, a huge, signal that requires tons of output from the subwoofer, it's the MOSFET output stage that's going to push all that current into the driver to give you those results. Yeah. And then obviously with the uh, the analog devices DSP, Gary touched on it as well, but you get all the benefits of the Bluetooth app and Absolutely. just more processing power. And, totally. and I mean, what, what have we done with that processing power aside from just, you know, the things you had mentioned? Well, we really shape every part of the driver's performance. The, the bottom end extension and how that mates with room gain, and then also the top end extension and how the subwoofer has to blend with any speaker seamlessly. And then not just at you know a moderate playback level, but at all playback levels. So if you have a very high sensitive high sensitivity system in a small room, and you want the subwoofer to, to blend with the with the pair of speakers in that space, or if you've got multiple subwoofers in a huge room with tons of speakers and need really high playback levels, the DSP allows the capability of the subwoofer to work in all those different scenarios. So let's get a little bit into each individual model here. Uh, I know the SVS purists out there will love the fact that we're going to have a PC2000 Pro. Yep. So we're, we're keeping the cylinder alive, and, uh, and I know there's a lot of folks out there who love that smaller form factor but can still get that effortless massive bass. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so you out there, you'll, you'll appreciate that. Um, so the PB3000 was uh, our first model that uh, SVS has done with, with dual ports. Mm -hmm. And the PB2000 Pro will be the second model we do with dual ports. So right. what can you tell us about why the move from a, a single port to, to dual ports and what sort of gains or uh, you know advantages that allows us? So we were really happy with the performance results we got from the PB3000 and the dual ports. And we knew that we should, we should really be doing that again in the PB2000 Pro. So the the idea with the with the two ports is that you now have larger port surface area to uh, capture that same port tuning benefit, the, the same benefits of a port. Um, but now you've increased the surface area, which reduces port turbulence and port noise and, and you know artifacts like that. So it's a much cleaner, um, more well-rounded uh, ported system. So and then we have our our SB two thousand Pro, which the SB two thousand its predecessor was the most popular SVS subwoofer of all time. More of those are in people's homes around the world than any other SVS subwoofer. So those are some uh, some pretty big pants to fill. I know. Um, so I know one of the things about the, uh, the sealed cabinet subwoofers is sort of their ability to just create this massive amount of output, but do it from a relatively small 
you know, compact cabinet. Right. Um, what sort of engineering choices or what sort of decisions did you make to really be able to to get that sort of massive output from a, from a more compact closure that can really fit almost anywhere? Well, without giving away the some of the secret sauce, it's it's really everything that we've learned all the way through with the older models, and then also when we started with the SB16 Ultra and worked our way down now to the 2000, the SB2000 Pro. Um, there's a, a lot of negotiating how you design a driver and then how you work with the DSP to make sure that you're getting the best performance from such a small cabinet. And then at the same time, allow the system to really stretch itself to high excursion. So there was a, a lot of work that went into designing this driver and what we did with this DSP and this amplifier to make sure that we could get that output. As an engineer and designer for these products, I have to say that I'm so proud of what we've been able to get out of this amplifier and this driver to make these systems. And I think that they are really going to surprise people with what they're capable of. Well, you uh, are replacing our most popular subwoofers of all time. So, I mean, that is a, a tall order, but uh, from what I've heard and, and the first experience I've had, I gotta say, I was mighty impressed. So, uh, you know, if you wanna get more information about the new uh, 2000 Pro series, check out our website, svsound.com. And uh, thanks for watching.